Hey everybody, it's Nick from The Bass Hookup. And on today's episode, we're gonna go out and test out the active target out here on this little pond right here. And the reason is because this pond has a lot of two pounders. It has fish up to seven, eight pounds and a lot of five pounders. And if you watch bass fishing videos and you're into bass fishing and you're into, not even into forward facing, but you've heard conversations about it. Recently, Josh Jones, who's a forward facing sonar guru, has cotton multiple multiple fish over 10 i mean hundreds of fish over 10 pounds 15 pounders texas lake records he says he doesn't even cast to the fish unless they're over 10 pounds now what i want to do is come out here and see if we could truly tell the difference in size of fish by looking at our forward facing sonar and the only way we're going to do that is by catching hopefully trying to catch the fish that we see on there no matter what it looks like and then once we catch them looking at the size and then looking back at the image, which I'll should have, you know, picture in picture on here and see if we could tell, because I'm not convinced that you could really, really tell the size of the fish on forward facing sonar. I've seen these lakes have big bluegill, you know, two, three pound bluegill. I mean, I know it sounds ridiculous, but yes, there are two and three pound bluegill. So those compared to bass that I'm catching that are three, four pounds, it's really hard to tell the difference. So hopefully we get out here, hopefully, you know, I see a giant fish on that forward facing sonar and we could tell the difference, but if not, we're just gonna go out here, try to catch some fish and see if you can tell the size of the fish on the forward facing sonar. Fingers crossed we catch some, we got perfect weather. Oh, and if you're new to the channels, subscribe, leave a comment on this video or a video from this month and you will you will have the chance to win our and you will have the and you will have the chance to win half our YouTube income. We give away half our YouTube income in the form of a gift card at the end or the beginning of every single month. All you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment in that month's videos and we randomly select the winner. And then, uh, yeah, get you half our YouTube income. So let's get out here on the water. Let's get this forward facing going and let's see if we catch some fish. All right, let's get this thing launched. Get these rods back here. Let's get in the water. All right, on the water. This lake right here, deepest probably about 15, 16 feet. You can see out there, I mean, there's, it looks like fish out there grouped up, maybe 60 feet out. I don't know what that is. Let's take a, uh, take the top spin right here with a little Kitek on it. And let's see, that's about, that's the thing. We gotta catch fish to know if they are big compared to the size on the screen and they're really close to the top really close to the top so i would say they're probably bluegill but again so there's like three fish right there under the boat compared to their their size on the screen it's gonna be hard i mean I'm not an expert at this, so I, I can't tell you that like I could tell the size of the fish, like I was saying in the beginning. I'm kind of skeptical on that. I feel like they all kind of just show up when they're that far out. They just show up as as blobs. So let's see if we could see my bait going down here. Uh, not really. I hit the bottom right there. Let's see. Where is it at? Where's my bait? I feel like I'm getting bumped. Definitely feel like I'm getting bumped by something, but again, could be big bluegills. So there's, there's obviously right there, tons of fish on the bottom, like 30 feet out. Let's see, where's my bait? I don't even see it going down. So I'm not in the cone angle. And I'm gonna talk about cone angle too during these videos because that's important to know. Probably not this video, but maybe the next one I'll talk about cone angle. But I mean, 
you know, you guys, what what are all these fish out here? I, I don't know. Um, there's a ton of them out there. I mean, ton of them. I'm hoping to see something big out here. That's the goal. See something big, catch something big or small. I really need to catch both so that we could compare. Here comes one. Oh, got him. There we go. Finally. And it looked little. Okay, I'll give you that. It looked little on the screen. So this is the fish right there. And he's little. And it looked little on the screen too. So, you know, I mean, there's a start. There's a little one. Now I know what that one looked like on the screen. And it looked little. You guys can see there's fish everywhere. But this isn't, you know, I can't tell if they're bass. I don't know what size they are. It's not like a guaranteed thing where I'm going to catch them. Obviously I'm throwing to them too. And, and a lot of them are not even looking at it. But... I'm gonna have to go to something else because <clears throat> these fish don't want to eat this. And what they probably will eat, I'm thinking, is Senko, nail weighted Senko. How about that? How about that? Let's try it. Nail weighted Senko. Having to go into the bag of tricks here. These dang on fish don't want to cooperate today. If we can't get them on the nail on the uh, Nico rig, I mean I don't know what I get them on. Look, it looks like some good ones right under the boat. It looks like good ones. Now, I don't know. That's what we're trying to find out. They're right there. It's like a group of them. Oh, I got one. All right, what is this? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's a better one. A little bit better one. There we go. And I could tell you that one looked bigger. Grab the pliers. I don't like keeping them out of the water that long. That one did look, and that one is bigger and looked bigger than the last one we caught. So, yeah, just kind of got to get used to what they look like on there. But that's a nice little fish. Nothing big for this pond at all. Let's see if we can find some more. This is a science. This is science. Look, there's a, what are those fish right there? 20 feet out. Let's see. Let's see. My bait going down? I know it's going down, but oh yeah. Just got to the bottom. I'm just amazed that these fish aren't biting reaction in the weather today. And there's a fish sitting right under. Oh, there's one on the wow, it's small. Wow. And he ate 
He ate the Senko. Can't catch him. Can't. Ah. Can't catch him on the jerk bait, but you could catch him reeling in a Senko. Goes. Go figure. Go figure. So it looked like there was a good one. And that's all I'm just trying to figure out, you know. What's big, what's not? What do they look like? What's a what's a big, big one look like? Yeah, like what's a big one look like? Is it huge or what? That dot out there at 30 feet looks good size to me. But let's see. The bait's going right down. Right down there, that there's a dot. I don't know if that's a weed or a fish right there at 30 feet. But I'm hoping to find out. A whole bunch of, oh, pop, got him. That one feels better. Yep, oh my gosh, way better way better all right guys so that thing looked like a weed down there at 30 feet but it was a big blob a big blob and this is a big fish yep there it is big fish big fish probably a five pounder Oh jeez, why am I even trying to flip it? And he smoked that Sanko, I mean it thunked it. There we go. There we go. Nice big fish. Not gut hook, just hook in the roof of the mouth perfectly. The wheat. Perfect. There we go guys. So, right there, that one did look big, and, and it was. So, you know what? I could see getting the hang of this thing. And let this guy go, girl, guy. I could see getting the hang of this thing right here and actually knowing like, all right, there's a big fish. There's a big one versus a small one. So, by doing our scientific experiment out here I think you really could tell so far like what is a big fish versus small fish small fish seem like I don't know they're little uh, little like lines or blips on the screen and then the big fish they look a lot rounder um, I mean the dots of the big fish are they're just I guess the only way to say it is they're 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 bigger. So I'm gonna put on another wacky rig Senko because we figured out what they want to bite now. So we could continue on with our scientific approach here. Let's see if we could get see if we could get another um, another fish. And you can see right now, like on the screen throughout this whole thing, there's fish swimming under the boat. Almost throughout this whole thing, there's fish swimming th under the boat. And they don't look big. Those are small. Those look like, <sighs> I put on another nail weight, but those look like bluegill to me. That better fish was just sitting on the bottom. Almost looked like a weed stalk. But it was a little too round, I think, for me to be a weed stock. And it ended up being that, that big girl. So let's look out here. Let's see. So bait just went right through that blob of fish right there. Oh, I'm on it. Let's, I want to catch it. Yep. It feels so small. It is. Oh, look at that for science. Look at that. Oh, no. Stay in here, bud. So, 
What I was saying was those skinny little lines, well, got one. Look at that. And there's schools of them out there, just in packs, but tiny fish. So, I mean, that kind of right there just shows you. So there's skinny, skinny little lines and a big old group out there, small ones. Now I can see how Josh Jones could just single out the big ones because number one, those big ones, most of the time they're not gonna be in big old packs. Um, that looks like a decent one right here, maybe right under the, under the boat that I just drove over. But I could see how he singles them out just by looking for those single fish. Cause like I said, most of those big fish like that, they're not gonna really be in packs like you see all these little little lines these fish out here it's gonna be single fish so now let's go see if we can find a big one we found the we know what the small ones look like i think we know what the big ones look like but to be sure we need to graph one of the big ones or what we think is a big one and catch it a whole bunch of them right there but what size are they? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, wow. There we go. It's small. I could have told you that. Oh, that's not a bad one. Not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. <laughs> Thought it was gonna be way smaller. He whacked the heck out of it though. Hit the snot out of it, all right. So, what's that do for our theory? I don't know if that helps it, but all right, guys, that's going to do it for the video. But as you can see, I mean, I think that you can tell the size of the fish on forward-facing sonar. Um, you know, I'll go back and look at the footage. Actually, let's go back inside. I'll upload it. We'll look at it, and I'll commentate it. And let's take another look before I actually say you can tell the difference in uh, the fish's size just by looking at the dots. So let's go back, upload it, and see what um, – take a look at it together and determine whether or not that's the case. So – Let's go inside and upload this thing. All right, we're back inside and I uploaded this footage here. And I think, you know, throughout the video, you could tell pretty um, pretty good what the different sizes of the fish are. And right here, you could see my bait going down. There's a fish swimming around it there. And, you know, that looks like a good fish. You could see how big that blob is, how round it is. And then out in the distance, you could see, you know, skinnier little lines that are fish. And those are small ones, um, at least from what we could tell. I might have to go out there and do some more research but and catch more fish just to, to prove the point that those little lines are small fish and the bigger fish are rounder. And, and even right here, you could see there's fish right there as I scan around. But the little dots are a lot smaller. So the big fish, like this one right under the boat, you could tell that's a bigger blob for sure. So we're going to leave it at that. Hopefully you guys, uh, you know, learn something from this about forward-facing sonar and the size of fish because nobody usually shows. They just say, hey, there's a big one. I see a big one. But hopefully from this, you could actually see the difference between small and big. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.